Hi, I'm Thad with Clemens Home Solutions. Today we're going to be talking about some step flashing and kickout flashing and why kickout flashing is so important. Uh, we're first going to show you how to make a piece of step flashing or kickout flashing. And cut it on an angle. Fold it over. First, put that piece under, and you fold this piece over, and it holds it where it's supposed to be. Cut that little excess off, and you have a piece of kickout flashing. Pretty easy, but it's pretty. This is a very, very necessary part of your roof down at the edge. Um, whenever we do um, flashing along walls or dormers. We run ice and water up the wall first as a extra precaution. This piece slides under your first shingle. And what this does is it, as water comes down, it kicks it out into your gutter so that water cannot get behind your siding and rot out the wall uh, farther down below your, your gutter. We also seal along this top edge of the gutter so that if any water were to get behind there, whether it's rain or anything, it will end up kicking out into the gutter. Uh, then your next piece of um, step flashing. This isn't far enough up. You won't have any enough coverage, so I will slide. I would slide another piece under here just to make sure that you're you're covered. And your next piece, next piece will go over top, and it will go right down close to this reveal on your shingle there. You'll pop a nail here. And then you would put this shingle over top of that. And you'll run another piece just like that. And you pop it there. And then when you're, um, whenever we go around corners, we use a, a flexible corner flashing. And we mold it to fit whatever angle you need. And then your next piece uh, up above comes down just to keep a constant flow of water so that water cannot penetrate or get underneath that. And that is a step flashing. So right here is a great example of why kickout flashing is important. Um, as you can see down the wall, um, water was able to get behind the siding and actually rot out that OSB. OSB just crumbled and went all to the ground. The insulation was all wet. There was a little bit of mold on the studs. Um, but this is a, an, for an instance where um, kickout flashing was not used. And then later they tried to install kickout flashing, but it was too late. So we had to go back and tear all that siding out, tear all the OSB out that was uh, rotted, replace it, put new kickout flashing on. And we put new flashing um, all the way around it and then redid the siding and they will never have another problem like that again.